Three things to be proud of in North Vancouver District that we didn't have a year ago. One is our official community plan, the Lillooet Community Garden and the North Shore Green Markets. The uh, inclusion of food-related policies in the uh, district's OCP passed in June. Uh, it was, um, in summary, these policies encourage local food systems through the promotion of healthy local foods and food production, and they integrate opportunities for urban agriculture in our town and village centers, and also calls for the development of a food policy that will define the district's vision and commitment to facilitating a food system that supports long-term community uh, and environmental health. We recognize the vulnerability of this region for, uh, for fresh food. We recognize it in our OCP. The second, which for us was the first step, the city has had community gardens and West Van as well for quite a while. But our first one was the Lillooet Community Garden, which had its official opening last month, although it's been up and going since before the summer. The garden site is leased by the district for a dollar a year to the North Shore Community Garden Society who operates the uh, garden in partnership with local residents and the Edible Garden Project. The garden, which contains 46 plots, including two for people with disabilities, and a large education garden maintained by the Edible Garden Project, which was built uh, solely by volunteers. The garden received an initial investment of about $19,000 from the district and $10,000 from the Walmart Evergreen Foundation. And finally, the support for the North Shore Green Markets uh, this past year, Council formally supported farmers' markets at Lynn Valley Village Square and at Parkgate on a test basis. And although the markets achieved different degrees of success, they did bring a tremendous amount of life to two underused plazas, promoted local artisans, brought fresh fruits and vegetables to district residents, and they helped encourage social interaction and community pride by getting a lot of people out. We had tremendous positive feedback for the location of these markets. So, what do you do? What should you do? Well, I think if you want to, if you're really keen and, and to, to get local government support and get moving in these areas, talk to your local politicians. It amazes me how few groups ever turn up for the two minutes at the beginning of council meetings. I was telling the sports users last night, come regularly, get people to come and tell us what you're doing and what you want. There's public uh, time available up to two minutes at seven o'clock at every one of our public meetings and virtually, maybe we don't do a very good job of, of promoting uh, it, it to people, but come and tell us what you're doing. Um, fill the council chambers if you want to see change. Uh, we have mixed support all over our council, and I'm going to acknowledge my colleague, Councilor Mackay Dunn over there, who's obviously supporting Henry. He wouldn't be here. Thank you. Wake Councilor. up. Good. Um, we have mixed support in our council, and that's good, because we have those who are saying, show us the value proposition of public investment, and you need to come out and you need to tell us, council, the value proposition of public investment. Am I done? I'm done. All right. And tell staff about your ideas. We have great staff here. They need to hear from you. When they get excited, we get excited. Thank you.